Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be marking a foam ball into four equal segments. So by the end of this, you should have something that looks kind of like this. And if you're new around here, you might be thinking, why do I need to mark a foam ball into four equal segments or any amount of equal segments for that matter? Well, maybe you would like to make an ornament like this one or this one or any of our dozens upon dozens of no sew fabric ornaments. We do these so much easier when we pre-mark the foam balls into a set amount of sections depending on the pattern. Today we're doing four, but we do use other numbers of segments as well. For example, this uses six this one uses eight and I do have videos showing how to do all those different numbers of segments as well. So let's start and we're going to be using a strip of paper marked into four equal segments that is going to make this super simple to create our lines on the foam ball. And we have two ways to do this. Let's start with the easy way. So this is a printable download that we have created for you and it's got pre-made strips on it that are already divided into four even segments. So all you need to do is cut one of these out and then use it to make your lines on your foam ball, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. This will work for any foam ball that is approximately three inches. When you do print this out, you'll just want to make sure that you use the shrink to fit or that you do not use the shrink to fit or fit to page options because you want this to be printed at 100%. This box should measure one inch after you've printed it. And by that, I mean physically measure one inch with your ruler. And that's how you know that all these strips are gonna be the correct size. Now, if you're like, I don't want your silly template, <laughs> you'll get yourself a strip of paper and you'll want this to be long enough to wrap around the entire foam ball and you'll cut it to that exact length. And this will also be the option you want to choose if your foam ball is not around three inches in size. So this will work for any size foam ball. So just make your strip of paper the exact length that it needs to be to wrap around. So that's looking pretty good to me. Now what we wanna do is divide this into four equal segments so that it will look just like the quick and easy printable ones. <laughs> so we're gonna take this and fold it in half once, putting the ends together and making sure that it's perfectly in half, and then fold it in half one more time and you'll have ended up with four even segments when you unfold this. Now it can be kind of hard to see on a piece of paper, especially when you pull it flat to wrap around your foam ball. So it's a good idea to just darken your crease marks a little bit so that you can see them. And then now what we have is exactly what we would have if we cut one of these out. Strip of paper long enough to wrap around and it's divided into four even segments. So we're gonna go ahead and pin this around the equator of the ball. So this is not the ball we wanna use, that one's already pre-lined. So we're gonna take a plain ball and you'll notice that you've got a pull on either side, so two poles, and then there's a line that's dividing it in half. This is what we wanna line this up with. And we're gonna grab a couple of pins and pin this into place just a couple of times just to hold it down for a second, like that. And then wherever we have one of those darkened lines, we're gonna go ahead and make a pen mark. And we also wanna make a pen mark right here at the beginning and end of it as well. Now, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little X over top of my two poles just to make them easier to see. And now we can go ahead and remove this. And we are done with this. Now, just a little side note, if you're looking for eight sections, you would just fold this in half again and you would have eight. So now we can go ahead and make our lines and we're going to take a tape measure, a flexible tape measure and line it up, line up one side of it along side of one of those poles that we darkened. And then we're going to bring it down right next to one of those lines along the equator that we created. And I'm going to go ahead and stick another pin there just to help hold it in place. And then down through the bottom pole or the opposite pole like this. Now here is where we would want to draw a line connecting all of these dash marks. But keep in mind, if you're making an ornament that has very light fabrics, then you may want to stay away from using a pen or something that would possibly show through. And if that's the case, you could actually honestly get away with using your fingernail if you have one, which I don't right now. You could use a tracing wheel and just draw the line and just make a little indentation. It doesn't have to be dark. Even something like our tugging tool or a butter knife will work perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna score this right alongside the tape measure there, connecting those lines. And it does not have to be perfect. It's okay if things go a little wonky. These are really just guidelines for the pattern. 
but there is our first line. Now I'm gonna do that to connect for the other three and that is gonna give us our divided ball into quarters. Alrighty, so if you look closely and I realize my light is kind of flashing off of this, but this has been divided now into four equal segments. And one last thing, I totally forgot to mention this in the beginning. We've got these tape measures. I was just using this to draw my lines. I may have had it flipped over this way at some point, but here on this other side, you'll see we've got three inch foam ball marking guides and this will do four, six and eight segments. And it works exactly like the paper strip method, except reusable. And by the way, if you are an Ornament Girls Club member, December, 2021, you got one of these in the mail or inside your ornament kit. They will also be available in the Ornament Girls shop uh, very soon. In the meantime though, please feel free to grab this. The link is right below. It makes it super easy. And I hope you'll let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much for watching. Happy ornamenting.